Hello everyone, I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic, I know I am. And uh, today we're back with another video on Microsoft Flight Simulator, and this one is on a new mod. It just came out, as I'm recording this, it literally, literally just came out. It's for the G3X screen. And I'm gonna go over the changes as we fly. If you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, it helps me out a lot. It also lets me know you guys are enjoying the content, and I will leave a link in my description down below for you to download this. There we go. A little bit of lag early on, but that's fine. There we go. So this is the new screen. As you can see, there is a pretty nice graphical overhaul. It looks way better, way, way better. And this is the map. You can move it around. It's touch screen, as you can, as you can see. The same mode, same mode, but now you also have the autopilot here. Yeah, this is the autopilot. Autopilot's on, flight director is on. Let's do altitude, altitude, there we go, it's gonna hold 2500 for us, there we go. Nose up, nose down is basically for the vertical speed, so you can do like... Let's increase this just so I can... Just so I can show you guys, so... Vertical speed... 500 feet per minute. There we go. Nice and easy. Yaw damper doesn't really work. Yaw damper doesn't work. So, this is the map. If you click and on the bottom, this is what you get. Map, active flight plan, procedures, com frequency and stuff. You can also do menu. We have track up. Track up basically basically follows your heading, so it's gonna follow your plane. So let's turn... No, 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 that's not the turn, that's the, that's the altitude, okay. As we turn, the map turns with us, as you can see. Menu, north up, it's just gonna... It's just gonna keep the north side up. No matter whatever heading we have, it's, it's just gonna stick with north up. DDK is desired track and is the track you need to fly to reach your next waypoint. Okay, so north up, track up, and then you have weather and topo. We are on clear skies right now, so you're not gonna see anything, so let's change this real quick. Let's give us a storm. There we go. As you can see, weather works. Weather definitely works. Let's get our arrow just right. Is it really 299 or 2, really? Huh, kind of surprised. Let's see if we can fly outside the clouds. Ooh, looking good. So basically, this is the water. Let's go back to the menu, turn off the water. Weather radar is off. You have the range ring and the compass, and they don't work as of yet. You can increase and decrease the range, and you can also set it on auto. Now, moving back, let's go back to clear skies. It's a little bit dark. No, 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 no. This way. Down. And, yep. Yeah. <laughs> kind of oversped this a little bit, but. Just a little bit of overspeed. Okay, full screen. We have the menu. We have the wind. We have a few wind modes. This is mode 1, 2, 3. 2 and 3 are my favorites, I would say. And this is really extremely handy, especially if you're flying like the VL3, which doesn't really have the... Like, the X-Cub, it does have the autopilot here down below. But you don't have the same luxury on like the VL3, so this is really, really nice. This is a really nice addition. I'm very happy for seeing this since, you know, this is how this should be. The G3X should have the autopilot on the touch screen. Um, you have the audio panel here. And... This is literally it for this video, just showcasing a really nice mod that just came out. 
it's a pre-release, it's very much a work in progress. I will have a link in my description down below, and if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, it helps me out a lot. It also lets me know you guys are enjoying the content, and I hope to see you all again real soon, and until then, stay safe, fly safe, bye-bye.